Hello everyone. In this video, we are solved a nice exponential expression. We are solved this interesting math question 4x to the power 3 minus 4x squared minus 15x plus 18 is equal to 0. Someone requests me. So I solved this question. We we'll find out x is equal to what? I solved this question 3 method. Uh, last method, I mean number three method is so interesting. Please don't skip my video. Okay, let's start. First of all, here 4x cubed minus 4x squared minus 15x plus 18 is equal to 0. So first of all, if you think x is equal to 1, we'll find out one factor in this cubic equation. So it will be 4 times 1 to the power 3 minus 4 times 1 to the power 2 minus 15 times 1 plus 18 it is not is equal to 0 because of that this minus this it will be 0 but 18 minus 15 it is not 0 so I can say when x is equal to 1 this time left hand side and right hand side is not equal but if you think x is equal to 2 so this time you can see really 4 2 to the power 3 minus 4 2 to the power 2 minus 15 times 2 plus 18 this time also not is equal to 0 so this time left hand side and right hand side is not equal but if you think x is equal to negative 2 this time look when if you think x is equal to negative 2 this time you can see easily 4 times minus 2 whole to the power 3 4 times minus 2 whole to the power 2 minus 15 times minus 2 and here is plus 18 you can see here 4 but minus 2 power 3 it, it, this time you can see it will be negative 8 because of that here is odd number minus power is odd number it is always negative and minus 4 times minus 2 whole squared is even number it will be 4 and it will be positive minus minus it will be positive and 15 plus 15 times 2 it will be 30 plus 18 now you can see silly here 4 times 8 it will be negative 32 and it will be negative 16 4 times 4 it will be negative 16 plus 30 and plus 18 now at this moment you can see silly here minus 46 sorry 48 6 plus 2 it will be 8 1 plus 4 it will be 1 plus 3 it will be 4 and plus this plus this it is also 48 and you can see it is easily 0 because of that positive 48 and negative 48 you can see it will be 0 but at this moment you can see we will find out one factor I mean when x is equal to negative 2 this time you can see here is left hand side and right hand side is equal so here x here is x minus minus 2 then you can see minus minus it will be plus so x plus 2 this is our one factor in this cubic equation now our question it will be 4 x cube minus 4 x square minus 15 x plus 18 is equal to 0 this is our question so at this moment you can see easily here first of all I take this factor here so x plus 2 so look here is 4x cubed so I take here is 4x squared because of that 4x squared times x it will be 4x cubed because of that our target this value so here is 4x cubed but this time this it will be positive 2 times 4 it will, it will be 8 x square it's okay but here is negative 4 x square so this is positive 8 x square so if I balance this below this below I take here is the ne negative 12 x square negative 12 x square plus positive 8 x square it will be minus 4 x square so uh, at this moment again I take here is x plus 2 then if I multiply this below by 12 x this time this time this it will be negative 12 x square and this time this it will be negative 24 x yes uh, 12 times 2 it will be 24 x now uh, here is 24 x but this is 15 x so I take here is 9 x 24 x 
plus 9x it will be minus 15x this is minus so then here is positive 18 is equal to 0 then you can see easily here is 9 is common so it will be x plus 2 9 x divide 9 it will be x 18 divide 9 it will be 2 is equal to 0 now here x plus 2 x plus 2 x plus 2 both value is same so you can see easily here is x plus 2 is common so this term divide this it will be 4x square and this divide this it will be 12x and this divide this it will be 9 is equal to 0. Now we are finding out here is two case our first case is x plus 2 is equal to 0 and other case this value is equal to 0. So you can see the x plus 2 is equal to 0. If I subtract both side 2 we will find out x is equal to negative 2. So x1 it will be negative 2. And in this expression you can see that here is 4x square minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now you can see it will be 2x whole to the power 2 minus 2 times twice x plus sorry times 3 and plus 3 square is equal to 0. Because of that here is 4x squared this is 4x squared 2 times 2 times 3 it will be 12 12 and here is x 12x and 3 squared will be 9. So this equation and this equation is equal and at this point if you think this is a this is v so a square minus 2 a v plus v squared will be a minus b whole square and it will be twice x minus 3 whole to the power 2 is equal to 0 then if i use both sides square root we'll find out twice x is equal to 3 then if i divide both sides by 2 we'll find out here is x is equal to 3 over 2. so this is our other final answer but this is cubic equation and we'll find out x1 is equal to negative 2 and x2 is equal to 3 over 2 and x3 it is also 3 over 2 because of that here is x here is square so we'll find out here is this value and this value is equal this value and this value same now i solve these questions others method uh, look our question it will be 4x cube minus 4x square minus 15x plus 18 is equal to 0 method 2 okay now you can see easily here is x minus x is equal to negative 2 so we'll find out here is x plus 2 is a one factor in this cubic equation so i take here is x plus 2 then again this line now i divide this value by this value we'll find out this factor is okay so i take it will be 4x cube minus 4x square minus 15x plus 18 then i divide this value by x plus 2. now you can see easily uh, this value it will be i can see that it will be 4x square i take here is 4x square because of that this time this it will be 4x cube so 4x cube and this time this it will be positive 4 times 2 it will be 8x square so i change the sign so this this cancel and it, it will be minus 12x square 12x square and if i take this value it will be minus 15x then i can see easily here is negative 12x negative 12x this time this it will be negative 12x square and this time this it will be negative and 2 times 12 it will be 24x then again i change the sign so it will be positive this is positive this this cancel and we'll find out here is 9x and if i take this value positive 18 then if i take here is positive 2 sorry positive 9 so i can see easily this time this it will be 9x and this time this it will be 18 and this minus this it will be zero so we'll find out this factor it will be 4x square 4x square minus 12x plus 9 is equal to zero then you can see easily here is this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero again you can find out our previous answer x is equal to 2 uh, minus 2 and x is equal to 3 over 2 now i solve these questions as a method so okay here is 4x cube minus 4x square minus 15x plus 18 is equal to 0 so you know that a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d is equal to 0 
and we know that here is three root uh, like uh, let our first root is alpha and second root is beta and third root is gamma so we know that the rows if i add this rows this root this root this root we know that alpha plus beta plus gamma it will be minus v over a and we know that here alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha it will be c over a and we know that if i multiply this beta gamma it will be minus d over a so if i follow these rules this time you can easily solve this question so look uh, we know that here is minus 2 is a one root so i take that minus 2 and beta gamma this is our root in this cubic equation so you know that this plus this plus this it will be minus v over a so if i compare this equation and this equation this time you can say easily a is equal to 4 b is equal to negative 4 c is equal to minus 15 d is equal to 18 so i can say easily in this cubic equation here is uh, minus 2 plus beta plus gamma i i follow this rules and it will be minus v over a minus b it will be negative 4 and a it will be 4 so you can see easily here is uh, beta plus gamma it will be minus minus positive 4 divide 4 it will be 1 and if i move on this value in this side it will be positive 2 so we'll find out here is beta plus gamma it will be 3 so we are find out beta plus gamma it will be 3 and this time this this time this this time this it is also c over a i don't take this value at this moment because of that we know that uh, one root so i take this value because of that here is alpha beta gamma so okay uh, this is our first equation and alpha beta gamma we know that alpha is equal to negative 2 and beta we don't know what is the value of beta and here is gamma is equal to minus d over a2 so d if i compare this equation this equation d it will be 18 so i take here is 18 and a a it will be 4 here is 4 so i take here is 4 okay now we'll find out here is beta gamma this negative below this negative is cancelled 18 divided 2 it will be 9 and here is 4 so this is our second equation so we'll find out uh, beta plus gamma is equal to 3 beta gamma is equal to 3 over 2 I'm sorry 9 over 4 now we know that we know that we know that beta plus gamma is equal to 3 now our target beta minus gamma is equal to what so we know that a minus b whole squared will be a plus v whole square minus 4 a v so according to this law you can see easily here is beta ga minus gamma whole to the power 2 and beta plus gamma uh, it will be 3 3 to the power 2 minus 4 times and here is beta gamma we know that beta gamma it will be 9 over 4 i take this value in this equation then this this cancel we'll find out here is beta minus gamma whole to the power 2 it will be 9 minus 9 3 to the power it will be 9 and 9 here is 1 1 times 9 it will be 1 then you can say here is beta minus gamma it will be 0 this is our third equation but remember that our first equation is beta plus gamma is equal to 2 so i take this below beta plus gamma it is 3 this is our first equation now we know that alpha is equal to negative 2 this is our first answer now we are find out beta is equal to what gamma is equal to what now if i add this equation and this equation i add both equation first of all beta plus beta it will be 2 beta and look here is minus this is plus so if i subtract both equation we are find out here is 0 and it will be 0 plus 3 it will be 3 then if i divide both side by 2 we are find out beta is equal to 3 over 2 this is the value of beta in this cubic equation now at this moment uh, i subtract both equation like this equation minus this equation so beta minus beta it will be zero but gamma minus minus gamma so i take gamma minus minus gamma is equal to three minus zero then you can see easily it will be two gamma because of that minus minus it will be plus gamma plus gamma it will be two gamma and it will be three then if i divide both set by two we are find out gamma is equal to three over two so this is our other root this is the value of beta three over two this is the value of gamma three over two and this is the value of uh, first root alpha is equal to negative two
this is our final answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care